As you look at the development cycle, you have to decide what, at what point you're going to start committing to your backend platform. When you think about the scope of the backend technology required for modern game, it's really vast. Um, and so briefly, the areas to think about are um, billing, um, e-commerce, um, the customer support, live operations, and then a, a sort of like player socialization, which sort of spans front end from you know forums and things all the way to the back end technologies that are required to support that. In the post launch phase of a game, there are a lot of problems that typically crop up. First, obviously, there's the, the overwhelming mass of players that you might have tried to simulate with testing programs, but when you throw a bunch of real users with their real internet connections at a game, it often causes some scalability issues. And those manifest themselves in all sorts of different ways, like the inability of players to log in because the database is overwhelmed or there's not enough front end servers or the front end servers are taking too long. Um, and then it follows, you know, you hit your first month billing cycle or something, and you've got to bill a bunch of people's accounts, and the billing servers start to do extra stuff like billing people too many times. Right? It's been really common. Many games have had the issue where they've billed players as much as $500 for a single month of service. And then, you know, the customer support system oftentimes uh, has many more uh, reps using it at the same time that, you know, millions of users are trying to put in their issues. And so that can be a place where your ability to communicate with customers is, um, is um, you know, cut off. So all these problems together mean that your service engineers are having a hard time focusing on any one issue. And so they've got to you know, spread themselves across these areas.